Welcome to our channel, Get Cooking Now. Today we bring you yet another traditional Goan recipe which is sure to tantalize your taste buds. Hi, I'm Laddie and this dish we are making today is a perfect blend of tangy, spicy and savory flavors all coming together so perfectly. It's a testament to the resourcefulness and culinary creativity of Goan households to enjoy their fish even when fresh fish was not available in the monsoon season. Follow our detailed step-by-step -step recipe and enjoy this tasty dish along with dal or fish curry and rice. Today we reveal the secrets behind this mouth-watering creation. Our recipe for today is Goan Dry Prawn Kismur, also called Sukhe Sungtanche Kismur. Step 1. Preparing the Dry Prawns Take 1 cup of dried prawns, around 50 grams. Take the dried prawn, remove the head, tail, legs and discard them. Do this for all the remaining prawns. Once all are done, rinse them in water a couple of times to clean off all the dirt and impurities. Cleaned and washed, dried prawns are now ready. Step 2. Preparing the ingredients Take 3 medium-sized onions. Take the onion, cut it into 2 halves. Cut off the bottom portion like I have shown. Take one half of the onion and cut it into two. Then start slicing it. For further details regarding this or any of our other recipes, always refer to the description box for accurate and updated information. Follow the same process for the remaining onions. Our onions are sliced and ready. Take 3 medium sized green chilies. Cut them into smaller pieces. Take 6 medium sized garlic cloves. Crush each garlic clove using a heavy object. Our garlic is ready. Take around half cup of coriander or cilantro leaves and cut them fine. Take half cup of freshly grated coconut. Take around 5 to 6 kokum pieces which is also called Garcinia indica. Half teaspoon of red chilli powder. Quarter teaspoon of turmeric or haldi powder. Half teaspoon of cumin or jeera powder. Half teaspoon of sugar, half teaspoon of salt. Step 3 Preparing the Prawn Kismur On medium heat, in an open, thick bottom pan, add 2 tablespoons of coconut oil or regular cooking oil. Once the oil is hot, add the dried prawns. Stir fry for around 3 to 4 minutes or until they become slightly crispy. Help us spread the love for Goan cuisine. Give us a thumbs up if you like our videos and please share them with your friends and family so that they can also benefit from our recipes. Do comment with your feedback and suggestions to help us make our videos even more better for you. Once done, remove the dry prawns and keep them aside. Then in the same pan, add 2 tablespoons of coconut oil or regular cooking oil. Once the oil is hot, add the sliced onions. Stir fry the onions nicely. Stir frequently to prevent burning or sticking to the pan. After around a minute or two, make space in the center and add the crushed garlic. Stir fry them nicely. 
Then add the kokum pieces. Then add the green chili pieces. Stir them nicely. Once the onions are slightly golden brown, add the red chili powder. Add the cumin or jeera powder, the turmeric or haldi powder. Add the salt. Stir everything properly. Add one tablespoon of water and mix everything nicely. Now add the dry prawns. Stir them properly. Add another tablespoon of water and stir everything nicely. If you haven't already subscribe to our channel do subscribe and press the bell icon to receive a notification whenever we upload a new video After a minute or so add the freshly grated coconut add the sugar and mix everything nicely stir frequently to prevent burning or sticking to the pan if it's sticking to the pan then add a little water and stir Check for salt and add if required. After a minute or so, add the finely cut coriander or cilantro leaves. Mix everything properly. Dry prawns kismur is ready. You can enjoy it with dal, fish curry and rice. Do give us your feedback on this recipe. Stay safe and God bless you all. Check out our other interesting recipes and do subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.